So here's a good one about a young guy, college guy, who kicks his girlfriend to the curb, and rightfully so, after she displays so many red flags in just one day that that'd be enough for a whole CCP parade, as they say. And of course, he's wondering, did he overreact? Was he the villain here? And I'm going to chime in on that one. Title, am I the a-hole for immediately dumping my girlfriend because she lied? A shout out to Ash for sending this story. He says, uh, so a bit of context here. I, a 24-year-old male, have been dating my now ex, a 21-year-old female, who will be referred to as K, for roughly one and a half years up to this point, a few days ago. Well, I'm not going to spend this whole story calling her K. I hate when people do that with the initials, so I'm just going to call her Kristen. Kristen it is. Uh, having dealt with getting cheated on in high school, I made it very clear to her that I tolerate no level of cheating, and in any which case would immediately end our relationship. Okay. Like many of us, he's been there. And he's made it clear to her. No confusion. Uh, she stays out of state from me, but not terribly far. At only 45 minutes drive between us. So we see each other every other week as we both work and I'm in college. Smack! Don't do long distance relationships. They don't work out. 45 minutes away, drive isn't that bad. But the point is he's not seeing her a whole lot. She's up in college and you all knows what happens there. Uh, she informed me a few weeks prior that she had a friend coming into town and that he wanted he wanted some weed. But they are a medical only in the state, and I am in a recreational state. So in turn, I gave her some pre-rolls to give him once he gets into town. Now at this point, I have no sense of mistrust in Kristen at all. Well, bro, you should always have a little, you know, you should always be paying attention for red flags. It is what it is. She told me to get down about how they were going to link for a gym session, and he grabbed the joints. The link for a gym session? You mean they're going to work out together? Uh, no. That's guy time. Or girl time. But ain't guy and girl time to guy. Some of y'all work out with your girlfriends or wives. To me, that's guy time. Anyhow, uh, that'll be it. Blah, blah, blah. I haven't bothered to ask for his name, what he looks like, etc. All I knew was that they both went to high school together and they hadn't seen each other in a couple years. And he was coming into town to visit family at no exact date. So they're t talking. She shouldn't be hanging out with other dudes and all that type of thing. E even if nothing was going on, they were just going to, you know, hook, get together and, ha and lift weights and smoke a joint. Guess what? No. I don't hang out with other women. You should be hanging out with other guys. And watch this. Now on to what happened. A few days ago, I was getting plans ready for a date, and we had a set the next day. Kristen told me she had to work this day, so I was tasked with all the planning. I was texting Kristen about it, trying to set up time frames and when she'd be here, where to eat, etc., this is when I noticed her Snapchat location was turned off. This is concerning because she's never had it off and we share each other's locations at all given times. Uh-huh. Where there's smoke, there's fire. I don't believe in coincidences. I asked her what's the deal and she said she turned it off for safety concerns since she didn't want everyone seeing it on all the time anymore. Well, how interesting the timing that she suddenly has these safety concerns when this dude is coming into town and they're going to be spending time with each other. Just another crazy coincidence, I suppose. This confused me since she can choose to just share with me alone. I just pushed it aside as me being paranoid. Smack! Nope. Pay attention, dude. Until she didn't respond back to my text for two hours. Now, for most, most of this wouldn't raise any concern as she's at work. She can be busy, etc. But she works at a small food spot, and they have never been busy enough to the point that she doesn't respond for two hours. And she's always been telling me about how they don't have a lot of business. Fast forward another hour as I was leaving a workout session. I see that she hasn't replied. I don't know how, but I get the stinking or sinking gut feeling something is off. Trust your gut, gentlemen. There's too many red flags to ignore, so I made a decision to take the 45-minute drive all the way down to her job. Well... That could blow up in his face in multiple ways. When I get there, I don't see her car outside. I can't ride off yet as she's gone gone home early because it's be before due to slow business. So I drive to her house. She's not there either. Now I'm alarmed. To be sure, I drive all the way back to her job and walk inside. To ask one of the staff working up if Kristen has been to work today, and they say no. So her Snapchat is off, which it never is. She's not responding to his messages, which she has a history of doing rather quickly. He gets to her job. She's not there. He goes to her house. She's not there. He goes back to the job. She's not there. And she was, she never worked that day. Lying, red flags, all that. Yeah, where there's smoke, there's fire. 
At this point, I'm mad and I let it get the best of me. Once I step outside, I immediately text her that I never want to see her face ever again and I drive home. There's a lot of smoke, but I wouldn't have said that. I would have caught her in the action. In this hastiness, I forget that the same food spot has a second location and that she sometimes has been staffed there, but hasn't been recently, which is why I let it slip my mind. I get home and I'm still pissed off, but I realize I could have been wrong and acted out too soon. Until she finally responds to my text right at 10.07 p.m. that she's just gotten off work. Uh huh. 10.07 p.m. So, how many hours is this after he texted her, right? And she has a history of always responding. Just got off work? Well, they said you weren't there. This added my level of suspicion because the main location I visited that she works at closes at 10 p.m. But the second location closes at 9 p.m. She's asking what I meant by that last text and, and called me once, which I declined. At this point, I still need to close all the doors to be sure of myself, so I decided to call her back. I'm under the impression that she didn't know I stopped by her job, so I kept it that way. Yeah, don't reveal your hand. I ask her why she's not been responding to me, and she gives me a comical excuse about how her boss got pissed at her co-worker for being on the phone, so he told them that they, they couldn't use their phones on the shift anymore. Again, how coincidental this all happens on the same day that this guy's in town. I knew this was a BS excuse, but I needed to catch her slip up. So I trail to a normal conversation about her day until she slips up and says that she's only been working at the main store this whole pay period. And that sealed the deal. I caught her in the lie and I finally decided to ask the real questions, which went like this. Now here's a breakdown of his conversation, his interaction with her. He says to her, so Christian, where were you actually at all day today? She says, what do you mean? I was at work all day. He says, I drove to your job and you weren't there. Again, where were you actually at? She says, I, I was in the back of the kitchen with the cooks. He says, I asked your co-worker and they said you didn't work today, so where were you actually all day? Silence. And I hung up after that 10 seconds, after that 10 seconds of silence. Yep. T smoke everywhere. It's a fucking wildfire like in California. There's a lot of goddamn fire. Nope, she's full of shit. Something's up. That was it. I had emotionally checked out at that point and was no longer interested in what she had to say. She tried to call me and texted me say, let, to let her explain. And that and that she said that, yes, she'd been hanging out with a friend all day, but nothing happened. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. I've heard, I've heard that song and dance before in the 3,000 plus videos I've covered here. Nothing happened. It's called Triggle Truth. She said that they had gone to the gym, gotten some lunch, and then decided to get a motel room a motel room, to smoke some of the joints because his family didn't like him smoking weed, and they didn't want to smoke in their cars either. Get the fuck out of here. Going to an, a motel room to smoke weed, which by the way, they'll, they'll say on the thing, no, no smoking, none of this type of thing. you telling me they couldn't have gone you know, to a, a park or something? Well, it depends where you live. I mean, obviously, some places it's purely for medicinal purposes, but they could have gone somewhere out in the woods, some, even in their own cars. They rented a motel together, and she hasn't been around all day, and she's been lying about all this. Bullshit. <clears throat> I didn't want to hear any of it. She had lied to me five times already, and I have given her every opportunity to tell me the truth, and she lied and expects me to believe anything else she has to say. Pretty much. Yeah, I'm good on that. Her friend even decided to text me trying to explain it and wanted to apologize about trying to do me like that. I tell him to fuck off, because he's obviously been fucking Kristen. This just pisses me off even more. Like, oh, so you both knew you were trying to play me like a fool. He's trying to convince me about how much he care, how much he cares about me, trying to have a man-to-man -man discussion. Meanwhile, Kristen is trying to talk about how much she's afraid to lose me and shit. Uh, if she was afraid of losing you, then she wouldn't have done things that could send you on the path of walking away from her. I don't need to go, I don't need to go through the whole goddamn list again. You all heard all the things she's done. Bullshit. She wants her cake and eat it too. Have this dude here as her main guy and have her side guy on the side. Uh, I told Kristen that I didn't want to hear any more anymore. I just want to end it right now, right then and now. I told her I wouldn't even badmouth her to our mutual friends or anything, but I never wanted to see her again. And that's that. She's not tried to contact me any further since that night and neither has her friend. Of course, because she realizes, okay, he knows and that's the end of it. She took down our couple's photo on all her social media, and now I've had some of our mutuals come through trying to convince me to talk to her and work things out. But I've shut them all down. Good for you, dude. 
They keep telling me that I don't count. I don't know for certain if Kristen and her friend actually did anything, which is true. But in my mind, lying to your significant other about being at work to spend a day with someone they didn't know nothing about is cheating. Am I the a-hole for overreacting? No. <clears throat> there's too many. There's too many problems here. There's too many. There's, uh, all day she was suddenly Snapchat's not available, but it's always available at all times. Okay, suddenly she's not responding to your text when she's a habit of responding very quickly. Okay, two hours went by, then even more time went by. You go to her work and uh, she wasn't there. You go to her home, she wasn't there. You go back to the work again, she's not there. And they said she's never worked all day. And then all this other crap you can throw on there. And then, oh yeah, gee, what else? Running the motel room to get to go smoke some, some come on here. Yes, I know drugs are done in motels, but the point is, it could have been done in their cars. It could have been done anywhere else. Come, come on here. So she's full of crap. And then the fact that once he said he had to say, and obviously he was getting trickle truth, and she was hoping that, you know, playing the emotion card, but it's over. And this is why I say, again, long distance, don't do it. Doesn't mean every long distance somebody's going to cheat, but it's just, a, it's just not a very good situation, you know? And uh, probably in her mind, she could have be with that guy and this guy too. You know, and I'm sure there's more stuff, but I want to bet you because this is a relatively new story. She'll be back when things don't work out with that guy. She'll be back crying and begging. I mean, already the, the mutual friends are on this guy's butt about give her another chance. Well, fuck off. It's not your business. So I think this guy made the right choice.